Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a great quarterly lifestyle box to share with you. It is called Get Kindness, and I love their very simple and sleek box, as well as their very simple mission of sending you items that are meant to promote kindness to yourself, to others, and to the planet Earth. This box is $49.99 per quarter. As always, I'll leave all of the information for you in the description box below. They have been so kind to me to send this box to me for review. Now this is the winter box. They did have some shipping delays like many subscription box companies, so they were rushing and working to get their boxes out to subscribers first before sending out their PR boxes, but they were great about keeping me informed of that so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got inside so I'm seeing their nice product sheet as well as a little note up here on the lid with a cute little penguin so let's see what he has to say it says we hope you had a safe and wonderful holiday no pattern was needed for your wrap please visit our site for a tutorial so in the spirit of being eco-friendly they don't use a lot of packing materials that are not reusable for something else so they usually have some sort of wrap or fabric that you can actually Actually DIY and use for something else often there is a tutorial over on their website but it sounds like in this case it's just a nice piece of fabric that you can use as a wrap and you probably don't actually need to see how to use it you can probably be creative on your own there is another little note here it says at get kindness we want to be open and honest with our customers we've been made aware that the champagne glasses do not fit in the holder we chose to go with champagne glasses that had a thicker stem versus a wine glass not knowing they would not fit we we made this choice for two reasons. One, if we had gone with a wine glass, we would have only been able to fit one glass and we wanted everyone to have a set, which I totally appreciate. Two, we chose a glass with a thicker stem as to provide a glass that was sturdier and of better quality. With this knowledge, we hope that you can still enjoy your wine glass holder and your champagne glasses, just not together as was our intention. And I do appreciate that full disclosure. I also really love when boxes pair items together. It's just you're going to apparently have to use the wine glass holder with your existing wine glasses and the champagne glasses on their own, but that already gave us a spoiler of what's in here and I'm super excited about it. So it looks like the theme theme for winter was refresh and reset and then on the back they tell us all about the items kind of in like story form which I think is kind of fun no retail values but I think that you're getting your money's worth with this box there's usually like eight to ten items they also have an artist program which I think is really nice in terms of if you are an artist or a maker you can apply to have one of your pieces included in the next box and it's really just a way of kind of getting the word out some organic promotion and I think that's a really nice opportunity so if you have something that you think would really work well in a subscription box especially one with a mission like get kindness you should definitely check out that application on their website so right on top before we get into it I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like we have got my little uh, featured artist gift in that little pouch and then you can kind of see that like pastel fabric underneath which is probably the wrap they were mentioning so it actually says on this little pouch featured artisan bonus gift and it's in a pretty like blue pouch so I'm excited let's go ahead and see what we got in here so it is oh it's a little sticker this is cute so it just says be kind and you, it doesn't actually have that like graph image on the back it's just clear with the black uh, image of the bee and the words which I think is really cute it says this bonus gift was provided to you by creations by brandy so you can find out more about them on their featured artist page on their website so that's a cute little extra item happy to have that and then we have a little pin so it's just this little button they've got that's it's kind of keeping the wrap uh, together like tissue paper instead of tissue paper so I just there it is so we got this nice cute little button that they usually include in their boxes and that's useful so instead of like a safety pin or something we actually got something that you could put like on a backpack or something it says we thought this fabric wrap would make something great included as a is a pattern to get you started so no pattern necessary for this one you can find instructions uh, so it just says don't throw your wrap away but this is really pretty you guys it's kind of pastel but it's like almost like felt but you can kind of see it's it's got like compasses on it which as someone who loves travel you, you know I'll find something to do with it um, maybe just to use it as as packing but it's like very soft I'll show you once we get everything else out of the box hopefully 
So it says, uh, self-care is so important. We thought you could have a little fun while taking care of yourself with a, ga with a game of self-care bingo. Now it looks like I've had some spillage in here of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, I can see what it is. So it's my cocktail cubes kind of came a little bit smushed. But again, it sounds like they did try to kind of create an experience for us. So I'm just going to like put these off to the side. I'll show you what they look like here in a second, you guys. Um, so let me see if I can find the self-care bingo bingo we might not be able to go in order as intended We'll, we'll go ahead and skip that. So uh, speaking of self-care, why don't you treat yourself to a nice hot shower, grab your hair mask kit. Maybe I can find the hair mask kit. There we go. And give your hair a little TLC. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And this is a nice uh, size. So it says routine queen. It's a one ma month hair mask kit. So you can kind of see. And then each of these little packages, and I love the monstera leaf design on them, of course, very tropical is uh, labeled by week, so that's cool. Let me go ahead and open this up, actually. I think that's neat. So it says, um, week one is a repairing hemp mask, and so they're just in these little like tubes, these little containers. Week two is a restoring avocado mask. Week three is a refreshing peppermint mask. And week four is a renewing green tea mask. So that is a cool like little uh, kit. I'm super into that. It says, uh, while you're waiting on your hair mask to set, wash all of the 2020 stress away with this hibiscus infused loofah. So yay. So it's kind of like a, like a sponge, but it's a loofah bar that has raspberry and hibiscus scent. So it just came in this package. I won't open that up quite yet, obviously. Uh, and then let's see what else we've got. It says, okay, you don't want to prune though. So dry off and pop open your favorite bottle of champagne and pour it into one of your new champagne glasses. So let me see if I can find these. These were wrapped pretty good. I'm actually kind of surprised that they made it, but maybe it is because like they said in that note, they did send us a higher quality with a thicker stem so I really appreciate that we got a set whenever I get drinkware in a box I'm like please send me a set because what am I gonna do with this like one random wine glass so these are really nice I've gotten uh, quite a few champagne flutes recently in different boxes but most of them didn't have a stem but you know you don't have to have champagne in this even though it is champagne flute shaped you can definitely do it uh, any kind of other non-alcoholic drink in there you can even drink water out of there if you would just want to feel fancy while staying hydrated so let me go ahead and put those off to the side so they're at a safe distance and let's see what it says once you're done pouring drop a cocktail cube in for an instant mimosa or bellini so these are my cocktail cubes you guys and they came like kind of pulverized can you see it's just kind of a bummer i'm sure they would be delicious there's a few of them they're kind of like cocktail um balls now instead of cubes because they've gotten so so beat up in shipping so it says that there were four bellini ones those are the pink ones and those seem to be the ones that like survived a little bit better and then the four mimosa cubes were the orange um, and that is what is like pulverized dust but I'm sure it will just taste taste as good you just we kind of like gave them a little head start on dissolving in the champagne so I'll probably just put those like in a little jar or go ahead and just pour it directly into a into my champagne flute and get some champagne out so let's see it says um, Let's make a toast. We all made it through 2020. Now that we're relaxed, let's get a little organized. Don't worry, you can do it from the comfort of your bed with your new bedside organizer. So I'm wondering what that is. So I think this could be it. Hmm. Maybe this is it. So I have something, it says from Yaya's house, which we actually got a neck pillow from them in the last box. It says, uh, come to Yaya's house for all your custom sewing needs. But it says that this is, I'm guessing this is the organizer. So, um, so Let's see, bedside organizer. It was kind of wrapped up. It's got all this uh, Bellini dust in it. Let me see. So it looks like, yes, I think this is one of those things where you just kind of like tuck it under the mattress. You tuck this part underneath and then it's got all these little pockets that hang down so you can have everything nearby and they're big enough. You could definitely put a book in there. You could put your phone and your chargers in there. Not that you should have your phone necessarily by your bed, but I do because I feel like I need to have it in case of emergency, but that's what that is. So that's kind of a cute thing and I think it's cute that they have like hand sewn items in the box all the time. 
time. It says, make your life easier by organizing your day to day with this unique to do clock. I don't know what the unique to do clock is. Hmm. So, oh, there it is. Just have to like kind of get some of this dust off of stuff. Not a big deal. You guys are kind of seeing my, my little handy dandy cloth there. So it, this came in its own little box. Let's see what this says. All right, so, wow, this is definitely very different. I'm not sure what's wrapped up in a little piece of felt, but it's kind of like a resin clock. It says, organize every hour with this easy to use dry erase wall clock. Simply write your daily tasks on each hour and erase when you're done. So we got a little dry erase uh, pen in here, which is great. And this is super cute. It's like they put little like felt hearts inside and then you just have to put a battery into the clock. And then because it's like this resin, you can actually just write whatever you want. So you, you know, you have the days, uh, the hours like normal. And if you wanted to just put numbers on there, you definitely could, but you could also put, you know, like take the dog for a walk at three o'clock. And so that's kind of, that's kind of cute. And I love the like hands on the clock cause they're kind of like funky and different. So that's kind of cute. I've never seen something like that where you get to write your own thing on there. You could definitely, uh, if you're like me, you could say Island time and just have, you know, all, all of the hours be five o'clock, right? Um, let's see, it says all done, rinse out those new glasses and hang them up in this beautiful glass holder. So that was what else I saw. Where did I put that now? Here it is. So this uh, is not is also like made out of resin. So this is the one where they were saying that it doesn't quite fit, right? So it, ideally, I think you put the like bottle through here, like the top of the bottle, and then you should be able to slide the glasses in there. But it sounds like these are a little bit too thick to actually fit in there. But this is very like psychedelic. And we've gotten a lot of like resin pieces from Get Kindness before, but there's all the sparkles on that side. It doesn't have the sparkles on the other side, but ooh, I really like that side. It kind of has like that geode kind of natural stone look. It almost looks like a bird head doesn't it you guys so ideally I think you just like kind of pop it on the top of the bottle of bubbly or whatever you have and then you should be able to slide that in there but you're gonna have to use a thinner stemmed glass to make that actually work but kind of a funny pre fun presentation piece to have on your bar or just your kitchen counter if you don't have a bar it says it sits right on top of your favorite bottle of champagne or wine and then here is our self-care bingo finally found it you guys it was down here in the bottom in a nice uh, silky pouch that's kind of cool so I'm just gonna have to dust everything off eventually, but I will do that before I take some photos for you guys over on Instagram. The only thing that might not make it into the photos is unfortunately those uh, Bellini and Mimosa cubes, of course. Now this, they did a really nice job with. Uh, so this is kind of cool, it's self-care bingo, but you guys, it's only got nine, nine circles, not squares, so pretty easy to hit bingo because you only have to get three across. It's more like uh, self-care tic-tac-toe, I think. Um, and then it's a big magnet, so you can actually put this on your fridge so you can kind of play. So we've got compliment myself, take time for myself, exercise, get adequate sleep, meditate, drink plenty of water, eat a healthy meal, do something that makes me happy, do a calming activity. So I like all of those. And then let's see what kind of uh, little markers we have in the pouch. I'm guessing they're also magnetic. But if you have like fun little magnets on your fridge, you could use whatever you want, right? So these are just like kind of plain and they just say get kindness on them. I think that's really cute. Like I used to love when people had magnetic poetry on their on their refrigerators. I have a very scratch um, prone refrigerator, so we don't have a lot of magnets on the front except to like cover up scratches that have already happened. But I will definitely put that on the side. I think that's kind of a good thing, just a reminder, like exercise, drink water. <laughs> like those are things that I like need visual reminders of all the time so I actually think that's a like kind of a unique version of self-care bingo we've gotten a ton of them in different self-care boxes in the past and I've never seen one that is a magnet like that so kudos to get kindness for figuring out a different way to do that um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at our wrap which again is a little bit uh, dusted with flavor so I might have to um, I might have to give that a little wash but you can kind of see you guys it's not quite long enough to be like a scarf I'm just gonna kind of fold it in half here so that it's holding on to some of that 
orange flavored dust but it's about this long let's see there we go so that's doubled up but it has does have this kind of fun travel themed uh, pattern on it I'm not sure if everybody got the same one or if everybody got different fabric but it is kind of a nice lightweight felt we could kind of use it as like a furoshiki uh, depending on what you had to wrap up it would definitely wrap up something like kind of long and thin which those are always like really hard to wrap right you could just put bows on either side of it and there you go there is your gift um, so let's go over all of the stuff we got we got our magnetic self-care bingo we got the hair mask kit which might actually be my favorite item i kind of think that's nice to have that all set out for you nice and scheduled by week uh, we got the infused loofah i'm actually really excited to use that as well we got the nice champagne glasses which were meant to go with this like wine glass holder but it's just a wine glass holder or it could be a champagne glass holder depending on your champagne glasses if they are a little bit thinner we got our delicious cocktail cubes dust and um, we also got our bedside organizer which was like hand sewn by someone and then we got our unique to do clock which I think everybody could probably have fun with that like <laughs> hopefully you put like uh, fun to do things on there or maybe you actually put some of those self care items on there to remind yourself to exercise to drink water um, I thought this was a really fun box and it definitely had a nice theme to it in terms of being all about self care Care. and it was also a little bit like celebratory as well you know even though we are currently in March this was going out a little bit earlier uh, so people were still celebrating getting through 2020 when we received the box let me know what you guys thought about this box from get kindness what your favorite item was I do like resin pieces they don't necessarily go with my personal home decor but I think they're all gonna be great in terms of like either regifting or maybe when I get to redecorate or I do actually have like a bar with a little more space it could be really fun I think I might actually be using that uh, little uh, bedside organizer as well because I don't actually have a bedside table on my side of the bed so that actually might come in super duper handy I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing